But first, a father sharing emotional words after his daughter's killer is sentenced to 50 years in prison today. Andrea Lucia live for us tonight in Richardson with what he had to say. Andrea. Hey, Gary Bardwell has a whole new perspective on evil. It was May of last year, Richardson police descended on his daughter's apartment complex here, searching for her. Bardwell has waited all this time to get her justice and confront her killer. Jesse, Jesse was one of the most special people on the planet to me. I mean, I was her dad. Gary Bardwell was one of the key witnesses in the trial of Jason Lowe. The man now convicted of murdering his daughter. We, the jury, find the defendant guilty of murder. When they finally announced the verdict, my heart was just beating out of my chest. It was a year and four months ago Bardwell reported his daughter Jessie missing. Police questioned Lowe, her boyfriend, and found evidence of decaying flesh in his car. He later led them to find her body in a field in Farmersville. There's a deafening silence in my life. I don't know if you can understand what I mean by that. It's, since Jesse's been gone, it seems like the world has turned off. She kept my heart beating. She kept me smiling. At the end of trial today, Bardwell gave a statement, deliberately staring into Lowe's eyes as he read it. When you look in his eyes, there is nothing there. Bardwell says he's seen no sign of remorse. Just one reason he has no intention to forgive. People say, forgive this person. You're not going to get better until you forgive this person. I don't look at him like a person. He's the devil. And I want to know how in the hell you forgive the devil. Well, prosecutors made a deal with Lowe last year, agreeing to cap the punishment that they would seek at 50 years in exchange for his help finding Jesse Bardwell's body. The judge today honored that agreement, sentencing him to the full 50 years. Lowe will be eligible for parole, though, after serving at least half of that time behind bars. Reporting live in Richardson, Andrea Lucia, CBS 11 